Hi guys, this is Michael Oral from MobileBurn.com and today I have with me, finally, the HTC G2 for T-Mobile USA. So uh, let's pop open the box, uh, it's kind of cool looking box, let's pop it open quickly and see what's inside. First up, you can see right here, here's the phone. Really cool looking little device with a QWERTY, QWERTY keyboard. Pop open here, and you see we've got user manual and some warranty information and stuff like that that we don't really need to take too much of a look at. Micro USB to USB cable, and that connects into this really cool little HTC charger here. It's really kind of slick looking. It's pretty small. Plugs in just like that, or of course you can plug it in directly to a computer without the adapter. Also got a set of uh, stereo earbuds here. I get these open. There we go. And uh, it's pretty cool. You look at it, you can see that there's uh, music controls right there on it. So nice looking. So here's the device. Uh, take a look at the hardware. On the left hand edge here, we've got a volume control. Up top, you can see the power button and the three and a half millimeter headphone jack. And you also get an indication of the uh, mechanism that will expose the keyboard that I'll show you in a little bit. Down the bottom here we have two controls. This one is a lock for the rear battery cover and this one here is the camera shutter button. Display, it's a 3.7 inch wide VGA display. Touch sensitive buttons for home, menu, back and search and there's an optical D-pad here as well or trackpad if you wish to call it that. Not too much on the bottom except for the microphone hole. If you look at the back you'll see that uh, rear cover I mentioned. I can pop it off quite easily by releasing the lock. It's a 1300 milliamp battery, milliamp hour battery in there. That's good for six and a half hours of talk time or somewhere around 17 days of standby time according to T-Mobile. It's a micro SD card uh, slot in there as well. It comes with an 8 gig card installed. And there's 4 gig of RAM installed in the device to start with so you've already got 12 gig right out of the box. 5 megapixel camera with an LED flash and it can record 720p HD video as well. Let's flip it open. You can see it's already powered up. And here is the keyboard. And first, let me show you the really cool action on the mechanism for it's not a slider, it, it is a lift and slide kind of thing. It's really cool how it fits in there. It makes it makes it nice and thin. I, I really appreciate that design. Spring's not real strong though, so um it, it feels a little bit loose there. I could use a stronger spring. We've got four rows on the QWERTY keyboard. Good solid click for everything. Feels pretty decent. You have to use the alt keys in order to uh, get the numbers and some of the special symbols. If you notice down here at the bottom row there are three buttons. These are quick keys that you can assign to yourself. So this is quick key number two I hit. I'll hit continue. And then I can choose what I want it to be shortcut for it. I'm going to pick an application just because that's easy and I'm going to say the browser. So you can see whenever I just hit the second button here, it should launch the browser right away. Pretty cool. And there are three of those buttons. So since we have the browser up, let's take a look at it. The 800 megahertz processor is a Snapdragon processor from Qualcomm in here. does a pretty good job. It's not as smooth as some of the uh, other devices I've seen though. You can see it's got flash support and that's uh, dragging it down a little bit. Pull up another window and then go into bookmarks here and pull up the mobile version of the mobile burn website just so you can see how it works, you know, WebKit support and everything like that. And I'll jump back here to the main site and we'll pick one of the stories with a video in it. So we'll pull up a page here. This one has an embedded YouTube video so you can see the flash support. Once it pops up here, I will double tap to zoom, just like it says. I'm going to press the button once and we'll be playing it in the page. Now we're doing this over a Wi-Fi connection, even though this is an HSPA Plus capable device. Uh, 3G network is a little bit weak in my area, so. So here is 
just the focus itself. We'll take a look at the hardware design. You can see it's a you can see it's fully embedded in the page. Touchscreen display. It's a super Apple. The phone's running Android uh, 2.2 Froyo. I can show you that quickly just to prove it. You can see it right there. We'll go back to the home screen. Notice the little tick marks here on the left and right side. You can use those to quickly move through the home screens. You can also swipe. If you long press on one of those, you get a little pop-up showing all the different home screens so you can quickly jump to them, which is kind of cool. Pull up and look at some of the widgets that are pre-installed. Not a heck of a lot, but you can see there's uh, Twitter and some Google Voice stuff already put into the device. I haven't installed anything on this yet, so everything here is stock. We'll put news and weather. I'm going to just say weather. And there it is. If you look up at the top of the screen, you'll see there's a notification. Drag down the notification bar, and you can see it's a text message. So I'm just going to tap on this, and that will load the messaging application. There's the new message. I sent out a message and I got a response back. Swipe keyboard so I can say here is a reply. But I can also, of course, use the keyboard. And the keyboard has a pretty nice feel to it. And we'll just send that off. Here's the Gmail client. Pull up a message here. You can see it uses Gmail's message threading. So here's uh, one of the messages with some formatted text and everything. And here's an older message. And I'm going to hit preview on the Excel spreadsheet here just so you can see what it looks like. You know, we've got some graphic support and things like that. Everything, of course, works in portrait mode as well. And it's easy to mark multiple messages so you can go through and archive them or delete them or change labels on them or something like that.